Hi. Right. So here is a motherboard before me. Um, that is E6410. Yes, the latitude E6410. So the problem of this of this PC um, was that once it is plugged in, this power yeah, this power light here with flash and light on the on this okay like um, capsule of light. All this light with flash ones and that is all. So try to press the power button, no sign of powering. So on loosen the piece and I remove the board. Yeah, it was noticed that there was sign of liquid down here around the SMC. Yes, this SOC here. Yeah. These two, this SMAC. So these two here. Yeah. So this particular one, if you look at this, let me see if you can zoom in. Okay. All right, around here. So around here, so there was liquid around here. So here is corroded. So try to clean this up. But on checking further, try to check around here to see if there's a capacitor that short. But it appears it it was discovered that this capacitor right here was short. Then as this one short, this one became short as well. Okay, so this right here was a capacitor that is NES, yeah, GNE. So on checking, checking the schematics. So this this capacitor is six point three volts, right? So I remove this. I remove this capacitor. The short does not go, so does not you know this short still remains. So I remove this. The short disappears. Yeah. So I look for, you know, a replacement for this. I cannot find this exact number. This is any, no, this is any S G N E. I'm checking the schematics and I look for a replacement for it on the board, on the motherboard. So this particular board, so I remove it right here. So I found this, this is any E G G E. Why this one is G N E? But on checking, it is the same 6.3 volts. Okay. And it's working so i put it on it and the problem was resolved so basically what caused the light as it's plugging it shows light then it goes off immediately why because there was a short short around the smc area okay so i target on the smc because i found a liquid here and it has caused some kind of corrosion and that of course definitely is going, is going to be the corrosion that affected the capacitor right here Okay, so I didn't check the maybe like um, the schematic diagram of a motherboard. I didn't check the board view, but mainly do a kind of a visual inspection. I was able to spot that there was a problem here. So then I narrow it down, try to check around if you know there was a short. And interestingly, there was a short around here. So this was removed. So let's read this out. Yeah. Let's check the readings for this. Where are you if you don't do it? So capacitor that is yeah in continuity mode. It's going to beep. I know capacitor shouldn't beep. Yeah. It's making noise. Yeah. So this capacitor turns to a fuse. So that was why once the PC is plugged in, it shuts off, it turns off immediately. And it tried to press power button, nothing. So if I take this to resistance, it's going to read zero. Okay. Yeah, that is zero right there. And it shouldn't be. Okay. So now checking this new one. Okay. So yeah, I try to take ground here, but this is the first ground. This is not a ground. So I'm going to take ground here. This is ground and no way. All right, this is the ground right. So yeah. This is ground yeah no because i'm touching here yeah. i have to come to this area okay this see it has stopped this and this they are together yeah all right so come here and this no more short no more big and to resistance mode it this and this you see no zero this is one yes this is one key on kilo homes okay 
All right, so the problem resolved. So I'm plugging in, yeah, the stable light and the fan spins. So now I'm going to like plug it in. Yeah, just to see. All right, and fan. All right, so I will not put the async because I'm not allowed to you know, stay in time just for a testing mode. So I'm going to plug in. Oh, let me zoom out. All right, okay. Now I'm plugging in, so it has been plugged. The fan spins, there's a light, it spins constantly. It's stopped, there is light. Before it will, the fan does not even did not even spin. So it's working. The CPU should be hot now. So I have to unplug in order to protect the CPU. Yeah. Good. So problem solved. So in recap, in recap, how this was solved, I was, you know, I I made a visual inspection. I observed the motherboard. I noticed that there was a corrosion here, sign of water here. So I cleaned this up. Try to share with my multimeter. I noticed that this capacitor, capacitor shouldn't turn to a fuse, but this capacitor has turned to a fuse. All right. So, you know, I replace it and that's all the problem. It's a piece. All right. So here is the Dell, the Dell PC E6410. So it has been assembled. Let's put it to test finally. All right. So, yeah. There's a power horn, there will be a display. In a few moments. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and it's working. So initially, it will just, you know, it does not even recognize battery, but when you plug in the, this light will flash, this power light here, that is number one. Right, and all these lights will flash, and that is all. You press the power button, no response. But now it is working, yeah. So, if you are faced with where well, it might not be the same PC, why this one is E6410? And if you have the same PC, E6410, doesn't mean that it has to be the same problem, no. But it is good after you know, you know, you troubleshoot by means of you know, elimination. Eliminate you know part of the PC, but when you get to the motherboard, be the final part, then try to observe the motherboard and see if there's you know a kind of a physical damage, something that is that shouldn't be there, something that is weird on the motherboard. If there is, perhaps that is where the problem lies, and you try to take a step in order to resolve the problem. Yeah, so that is it. It's as you know simple as that.